Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to try to make this quick. In light of Kim being on JW.org a few days ago and finding an article, Is Protest the Answer? A lot of you friends have been able to send us another article regarding Watchtower and some of their protesting that they've done. So what I want to do is I want to read this article from the Watchtower, August 1st, 1999. And I think a lot of you have recalled this article back in the day. So I'm going to get into it because as I read this, I think those of you that are just waking up, finding this channel, you're going to see the hypocrisy that is Jehovah's Organization. Starting with the article, from the early hours of Friday, January 29th, 1999, and continuing into the weekend, Jehovah's Witnesses in France enthusiastically distributed on the streets and later from house to house 12 million copies of a tract entitled, People of France, You Are Being Deceived. <laughs> really, Watchtower? How are they being deceived? going on. Why such a campaign? At a press conference in Paris that Friday morning, the reason for the campaign was given. A witness spokesman explained, what we want to do today is make ourselves known for what we are and silence the, de the defamatory statement. I can't read this with a straight face, guys. I really can't. <laughs> Let, let me start over. I think you guys will appreciate the humor. What we want to do today is make ourselves known for what we are and silence the defamatory statements spread about us. We are willing to accept criticism. <laughs> but we will no longer listen to the lies and comments that damage our reputation. <laughs> Sorry, Watchtower, that's a little bit too late. <laughs> and it was even too late back then. Going on. Although, Jehovah's Witnesses are the third largest Christian religion in France, dozens of witness children have been insulted and harassed in school. Do I really need to make a comment, Watcher, about, about your witness children? Do I really need to go there? Everybody on the other side of this camera, especially those of you that are just now waking up, you understand what they've been hiding, do you not? Adults have lost their jobs and have been threatened because of their religion. Unbelievably, even the religious contributions that have received have been assessed for a 60% tax. <laughs> really, Watchtower? Among the child abuse, the separating of families, the flip-flopping of doctrines you're really worried about? Oh, wait a minute, that's right. That's what matters to you. The tax, isn't it? It's all about the money. Isn't it Watchtower? So you send out your members so that they could, you know, undo the lies that are being spread about you. Unbelievable. See, your friends have to recognize, especially you friends that are just waking up, you need to comprehend and understand that even in Australia, they've been hiding a child abuse problem dating back to the 50s. Let that sink in but I have a little bit more. The track declares the 250,000 Jehovah's Witnesses and their associates living in France protest, and the word protest is all capitalized, against the dishonest way in which their Christian religion, which has existed in France since 1900, has been lumped together with dangerous sects since 1995. Do you think the authorities in France, since 1995, Watchtower, 
has figured out who and what you really are, what you've been really hiding, the reason why they need to levy a 60% tax against your organization? Do you think those people recognized since 1995 that you are dangerous? But see, the rest of the world hadn't been brought up to speed. But they're being brought up to speed now, aren't they, Watchtower? Going on. The slanderous charges that have been levied at the witnesses in France and the devious ways in which detractors have sought to create negative pu publicity were exposed. No, they weren't, Watchtower. They really weren't exposed in that little campaign, were they? Because you lied about who and what you were back then, just like today, you were lying to your members. The tract concludes by saying, Today, more than two million Jehovah's Witnesses and their associates live in Europe. They respect the laws of the states of which they are citizens by upholding the values of the gospel. You mean... In mandatory reporting of child abuse, you uphold the laws? No, you don't. It's another outright lie. We all now know that, Watchtower. Oh, how? How you must have really been making Jehovah's heart sad when you wrote this article. Lying. Going on. They respect the laws of the states in which they are citizens by upholding the values of the gospel. People in France, these are the facts. It is our duty to present them as they truly are. That's right, Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses. Us ex-members feel that it is our duty to get in front of our cameras and warn John Q. Public, just what you have been hiding all this century plus. We know that you flip-flopped doctrines. We know, going all the way back to the very, very, very first watchtower that Charles Taze Russell published, you stated, through the mouth of Charles Taze Russell, that Michael the Archangel is not Jesus Christ. But now... You Jehovah's Witnesses somehow, some way, now believe Jesus is Michael the Archangel. Do you see, Jehovah's Witnesses? Your organization does not have God's Holy Spirit. Otherwise, that statement regarding Jesus and Michael the Archangel would still be a viable statement today. But it's not. Going on. Under the heading, quick positive responses. Millions of tracts were given out on the first day. In Paris alone, by midday, over 7,000 witnesses had put more than 1.3 million tracts in the hands of people. Huh. wonder how many people refused that tract. Seeing so many witnesses giving out tracts on the streets was certainly a first for the people. The media including national and local newspapers and televisions, reacted favorably to the communication drive. Hmm. We can certainly see today, friends, that the news media, the newspapers, and television are not reacting in a favorable way to the Watchtown Babel Tract Society, are they? No, because now the news media is paying attention to ex-members. They're listening to the evidence. They're listening to the facts in our hands about Watchtower. That you've been hiding a horrific child abuse problem. They can now see that you are separating families in the news media doesn't look favorable towards Jehovah's Witnesses any longer. Going on. The newspaper La Proges, 
the lion notes and I sure I slotted that the initiative dot 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 brings into the open a misunderstanding about a word uh, a word you're gonna focus on a word in this article watchtower a word interesting and that word is sect s-e-c-t dot 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 has taken on a pervasive dangerous and harmful connotation you know watchtower these days the watchtower bible track society in the name jehovah's witnesses has also taken on a negative a dangerous connotation hasn't it that's why your kingdom halls are emptying out Jehovah's Witnesses are not of a dangerous nature likely to destabilize society Jehovah's Witnesses your organization has already destabilized society that's why in certain areas you are being spoken against completely in negative terms you are being spoken against as an organization that for decades and century and, and for a century has been hiding lies hiding I don't know maybe money laundering schemes I don't know maybe even hiding the fact that you might even be involved in child trafficking when you are hiding the child abuse that you are hiding there are absolute negative connotations in that in Jehovah's Witnesses Watchtower governing idiots you've done this to yourselves because you have not been obedient to laws you have separated families when you separate families you destroy a very important social structure and then you wonder why everybody is in front of their cameras talking about everything that you've done to harm human society you wonder why people are speaking out you know friends if you're a current Jehovah's Witness just waking up finding this channel and you still have access to it we've done a video on it we we we've showed showed the pages involved your 1961 blood booklet find that find the page that states taking blood fractions is against Jehovah's laws see in 1961 watchtower made that statement that taking blood fractions is against Jehovah's laws how many Jehovah's Witnesses have lost their lives while refusing blood fractions how many Jehovah Witness children have lost their lives because of refusing blood fractions how many families had to bury loved ones because of Jehovah's law regarding blood fractions how many those of you on the other side of this camera have you lost loved ones because it was against Jehovah's law to take blood fractions but yet in the 2006 kingdom ministry Jehovah said oh I'm, I'm, I'm bad I'm bad I I got it wrong back in 1961 because now taking blood fractions is a conscience matter are you friends letting that sink in that what watchtower put into play was nothing but legalized human sacrificing hidden under the freedom of religion are you comprehending that because see how could Jehovah in 1961 state it, it is against my laws to take blood fractions and then said whoops my bad I get it wrong 
In 2006, it's now a conscience matter. Why did Jehovah change his mind? Why did Jehovah, his Holy Spirit, directed organization, not comprehend in 1961 that it was just a conscience matter? How many more people, how many more families are going to be disrupted because society does recognize that you are dangerous, that you are destabilizing human families. How many more times is it going to take for you Jehovah's Witnesses to hear some knucklehead do a broadcast and say, we will never get rid of the two witness rule. Do you see the destabilizing effect that they have on human society? There's just a half a paragraph left, friends, and all it does is it just builds up the facade that the Watchtown Babble Crap Society is nothing but a squeaky clean organization. You know, how sad it must make Jehovah's heart, Jehovah's Witnesses, when the publishing company published all this stuff that you see behind me. Even the reasoning from the scriptures. I mean, come on, Jehovah's Witnesses. When I received that book for the first time, I was elated. I couldn't wait to sink my teeth into that book. Why? Because it was probably the greatest thing that Watchtower had ever put out since the Make Sure book that we could use in our door-to-door -door ministry. How many talks have we all given from that book? Remember, it was used in the Theocratic Ministry School. It was used in the service meeting. I gave many, many, many parts. Many, 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 many talks were developed from that reasoning book. And now in recent years, you hear Tony Morris saying, ah, the book's no good anymore. After all, nobody cares about apostolic ascension. Nobody cares about that. How it must have pained Jehovah's heart that we had to get rid of such a fine tool given to us by Jehovah. You don't get it, do you, Jehovah's Witnesses? But those waking up do. I want to direct your attention, friends, to a video that XJW Elder's wife, Jane Doe, put up regarding the recent talk in Gilead. It was a very good talk that was given if you were in the mindset of Jehovah. But when it comes to ex-members listening to that Gilead talk, we can see the absolute fallacy in it. Because this Gilead class was presented with, Are you thundering for Jehovah? And besides a little glitch that the speaker mentioned and Jane Doe brings that out. I'm not going to bring it out. I want you to go watch it and I want you to listen. I want you to listen attentively to what she brings out. But more importantly, she also brings out that in this talk those Gilead members are being absolutely encouraged to turn down apostate lies. But yet nowhere in that talk do they even tell you what an apostate lie is. We all heard, let's say, we need to turn down the apostate lies, the apostate driven lies that this organization is permissive towards pedophiles. And then you hear Jeffrey Jackson in front of the Australian Royal Commission admit that they have a child abuse, a pedophile problem in the organization. Do you not see Jehovah's Witnesses, you got one governing body member saying that the apostate-driven lies about child abuse is a lie. 
And then you got one governing body member, Jeffrey Jackson, saying, well, that appears to be so. Who's lying? It isn't us ex-members, is it? You've got one governing body member hacking on the other one, calling the other one a liar. And then you've got the other governing body member calling the other one, calling everybody a liar. What is it? You've got two governing body members, Jehovah's Witnesses. One of them is speaking the truth, and the other one's lying. Figure it out. They both can't be telling the truth. But go and listen to that video that ex-Jane Doe, Elder's wife, had just recently put up about the Gilead talk. And listen to what the speaker is saying. Because nowhere in that talk that they're giving, giving to the um, graduating class do they even, even hint at what the apostate lies are. So how can you be a thunder against anything, Jehovah's Witnesses, if you don't know what the lies are? How can you be a thunderous voice if you don't know what the lies are? Those of you that have been with this channel for a very, very long time know whose voices are really thundering, don't you? When you go to a district convention and you have the, you know, the little section you want all the apostates to go in, you know, hold up their signs, you won't let them walk through the crowds like you are doing here in France. Are you Watchtower? No, 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 no. You won't let that happen because that's too disruptive. But yet at the same time, one way or another, one way or another, your reputation is being exposed to this entire world. And there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Not a darn thing, Watchtower. So friends, keep finding these articles in the Watchtower magazines because every time you do, you give a very thunderous voice to the ex-Jehovah's Witnesses that are exposing Watchtower for the very fact, for the very fact that they are involved in criminal activity and they are in fact a danger to society. They are in fact disrupting the human society. Thanks for watching and have a great day.